so this is another figure study um or as i'd call it the man with the massive hand um so thanks for joining us again um this video um you can see there's the reference image uh, and that's going to shrink down now whew, into the top corner now the reference image as ever is available for a download in a link in the description you can go to my website and download that and um and then you can sketch along with me so with this one again with figures i'm not hugely confident so i'm using the uh the pencil as a little bit of a safety blanket and and i'm sketching in i don't know why i decided to start with the skateboard but i am so i'm going to start sketching in this figure now the one of the the most important things about figures is proportions we all know weirdly innately when the proportions are wrong because uh, we can spot when things are out most of the time uh, so, so what I'm doing here is I'm roughly sketching in that with pencil now I'm having real problems here trying to get this head right uh, and it's all to do with the flow of the back the shape of the back going into the head so what I've done is I've just drawn it as a sort of as a knob shape but at the moment I'm not really thinking about um, uh, you know features on the nose I'm just trying to draw it as a sort of outside shape it looks like a bean and you see here what I'm doing is I'm just looking at these shapes and saying well halfway up the head there halfway up is the is the um, ear and the eye I'm just trying to find a place to put those in in terms of the proportions so I've found the bottom of the elbow there So confident enough now to start lining that in a bit although at this point what I didn't quite spot is just how massive the hand was but if you if I hadn't have noticed that and become fixated on it the chances are I wouldn't be thinking about it to this day but anyway so yeah we're gonna line all that in now one of the other things about this drawing is perspective of the uh, of the bench which is quite a fun thing to do In addition to the uh, the line work, I'm putting in a little bit of cross hatching, and this is something I've been playing with more and more recently. And it's it's been it's a style thing; these things come and go, but uh, it's just a I don't know. It's it's quite fun. So I thought in addition to some of the drawing tips and things I'd share a few of my thoughts on mental health. I also know that there is a great deal of parallels really when it comes to art and a, an approach to art and a sort of positivity um, that can really help in other aspects of your life and I feel that art as metaphor in terms of looking after one's own mental health um, is very interesting. Like everything in life, sitting down to do a picture, uh, to express yourself is a risk, but I think you can take a lot of the parallels from art and creating art and apply them to your life in whatever aspect. So I thought I'd share some, some thoughts on that, and I hope you don't find this too annoying. I mean, as it is, it's not like my channel has got 100,000 subscribers, so it's kind of in a nice place where I can try some stuff, try, you know, um, make a few mistakes. You know, if, if this is something that you really dislike, 
or you think, hey, that's quite cool, do let me know, because it's always nice to have a bit of feedback. So today I'd really like to talk about empathy. So for the first one of these little chats on mental health, um, I just want to share um, a little thought, really. People talk about mental load, and we all carry mental baggage with us. And sometimes if you're having a bad day, then the chances are you, you're you beaten down by, you know, childcare or money wish, money issues, money worries, you know, whatever. Your job could be very stressful. Uh, you might be dealing with illness or an illness of a, a loved one. Um, let's face it, life is very unknown, you know. Um, you always have fears of what could happen or could you let someone down or will somebody let you down? I was thinking about all this the other day while I was sitting driving to a to a job and I was sitting in a traffic jam and I was getting so angry uh, because I felt like I was wasn't really in control and and I was going to be late and I was feeling a little bit the shame that comes with uh, with that and then I realised that everybody in the traffic jam was probably feeling the same you know that sort of realisation that everybody carries the weight of the world on their shoulder in some form or other um, now that isn't there as a solution um, but I think it's definitely worth keeping in mind that probably most of the people you know are just winging it um, most of the people you know have work worries they have you know private secret worries that they perhaps don't talk about they have insecurities um, and we all, you know, we all just, we're all just cars in a traffic jam trying to get to where we, trying to get to. And then what I'm doing is just several layers of ink where I do one layer over the top as a primary colour, like blue for there, grey for there, and then a secondary colour uh, as well for shadows. So a, dar a darker version of the of the, the colour. So obviously for the, uh, the green, it's a, a more richer green. Uh, for the blue, a darker blue, and then just a darker grey for the grey. shadows need a little bit more work here and I want the foreground to be a bit more interesting so I'm adding in some different tones some reds some blues and browns splashing everything around a bit and then I'm going to go for a big bold background on this one because I just think it looks a little bit not very interesting so I'm going to go for a big daft background I did something similar in a tractor drawing recently and I thought it looked pretty cool here we go Ta -da. go big or go home so yeah pretty close to that I think it's nice apart from the massive hand I think it's worked really well uh, I like the sky, it's got some nice spatters, it's quite interesting. Um, pretty strong. So please feel free to uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, head over to my website, there's loads of inf more information on there about me and uh, some of my original artwork for sale and bits and bobs. So if you do want to, if you want to do a sketch version of that, I'd love to see it. Please feel free to email it and I'm going to do a video at some point. Uh, a little gallery of all the, the pictures that people have done. I'd love to see that. Okay, cheers then. See you next time. Bye-bye.